Mammals, from giant whales, to small mice, to great apes, much like ourselves, are among the most advanced of Earth's creatures. All mammals share two traits. We feed our young with mother's milk, and we have hair, more or less. Mammals nursing their young produce fewer offspring than other animals. But the youngsters have a much higher rate of survival than newly hatched birds, reptiles, and insects. This young orangutan will stay with its mother for eight years. Hair, like the coats worn by these high alpine huanacos, offers mammals another advantage. Hair and the sweat glands that come with it helps mammals stay warm in cold climates. Over time, mammals have moved into nearly all of Earth's habitats. Polar bears have adapted to life in the Arctic, where the inhospitable cold makes fur coats essential. Marine mammals, like porpoises and humpback whales, thrive in cold oceans. They still have a few hairs around their mouths, but a more efficient underwater insulator is a thick layer of fat, keeping heat in and cold out. Elephants battle heat. Their skin, covered in fine hairs, is wrinkled, making it easy to trap cooling mud in the creases. Spots on the coats of leopards and cheetahs help them hide. Their fur works to camouflage the big cats stalking prey in tall grasses. There are 7,500 species of reptiles and amphibians, and some 8,600 species of birds. Only 4,100 species of mammals exist, but they dominate the land and sea. Mammals have evolved with greater speed and agility than most other animals. Limbs that are lined up to support weight and drive mammals forward help browsing mammals run from mammalian predators armed with tooth and claw. And when natural advantages fail, some mammals fashion tools to help them out. This orangutan is working on a spoon to help him scoop ants out of a tree. Tool making was once thought to be a skill exclusive to the human mammal, but all great apes and some other animals make tools. So what separates us from the rest of the mammals? Our ability to communicate? To parent? to show emotion? Perhaps a better question is to ask what makes us all so alike. It moves with eight arms, pumps blue blood with three hearts, and changes color in an instant. Its flexible body fits through the tiniest cracks while its brain sorts out tricky situations. With talents like these, it's hard to imagine a creature more intriguing than the octopus. Octopuses join squid, cuttlefish, and nautiluses in the class of invertebrates known as cephalopods. They are relatives of mollusks, such as oysters and clams. But unlike these mollusks, octopuses don't have hard shells to protect them. Their soft body makes them a target for many predators, so they spend much of their time in hiding. Most live inside dens or small caves at the bottom of the ocean. They usually stay in their lair unless they're searching for food. 
Once exposed, an octopus relies on several defenses. One of the best is its ability to camouflage. Special color cells all over its body control pigments in the skin and help it blend into the surroundings. If that doesn't work, an octopus squirts a murky ink at its attacker. The ink acts as a distraction when the octopus senses trouble. It also doesn't taste very good, which makes a hungry predator think twice. Being soft and flexible does have its advantages. Believe it or not, this octopus can squeeze its entire body into the bottle. Now it's perfectly protected. Unlike other invertebrates, an octopus can see images with its sharp sense of vision. But its primary sense is touch. Dozens of sensitive suckers line each of its arms. The skin of each sucker contains three kinds of cells. Some feel stretch, others feel pressure, but most detect chemicals acting like taste buds. An octopus feels its way around the ocean floor, slowly bumping along. But in a flash, jet propulsion helps it shoot away. Back at the den, this octopus covers the entrance with rocks. These creatures have a large and highly developed brain, and they're capable of complex behaviors. Through trial and error, they eventually solve problems. This octopus figured out how to remove the plug from a jar. The prize is an unlucky crab trapped inside. Here in the lab, another octopus searches for a way out of the tank. They are master escape artists, and thanks to their strength, a one-pound octopus can lift a 40-pound lid. Scientists debate whether behaviors like these are signs of intelligence. Octopuses are certainly unusual and fascinating to watch. For more than a thousand years, the Hopi have survived by growing corn in the harsh drylands of the American Southwest. Using a digging stick, the Hopi plant corn deep in the floodplains, where the few inches of precious rain flowing from the mesa feed the plants. Deep planting allows the seeds to benefit from the moisture in the soil, and the corn grows strong roots to resist wind and flash floods. Once mature, the corn is picked, dried, and ground into meal. A batter of cornmeal, water, and wood ash is spread onto a hot stone slab to make piki, a paper-thin bread. Mm-hmm. 